Hey guys, 80s Jedi here. Brand new episode where we're going to be featuring artists from around the world and all the gear they use, camera gear, lighting, to bring their action figure photography to life. In the description, there's going to be some links on how you go about entering. Hopefully, we can do a heap of episodes. So, if you're like me, you love your action figure photography, you also like the gear and you also like cameras and you also want to know what people are using. So hopefully you like this episode. We have got a special guest. It is the t number two in the world, world champion at this point in time, Kid Grayskull. I'll put a link in the description for his, his Instagram and his YouTube. Also put a link in the description of my Instagram. So first off, we're going to start off with all my setup. Then we're going to rock over to Kid Grayskull's setup and it's going to be awesome so definitely stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to see the next episode of camera gear that everyone uses to get this action figure photography to come to life let's get into it all right guys as promised we'll get into my setup first off so i am rocking the lamp from just a local hardware store uh, with a white globe in it. Sometimes I put a little bit of uh, white paper over it to give it a nice white glow. Got the two little push button LED little uh, lights that you also get from a hardware. Got the flight stand that you get from a SH figure Arts or an import figure. And also got a couple of those little finger lights. You get those from eBay for about a dollar each. Um, so multiple colors you can get just off eBay. Rocking the Seagate one terabyte for all the storage to keep all my photos nice and crispy and, and make sure that I don't lose any. And also rocking that cutout pack from the ACBA page, which I'll put the link in the description. You can go ahead and buy one of those ACBA cutout packs so it saves you from cutting into all your comic books. Then I'm also rocking the Joby stand. I sometimes use another stand, but at the moment I'm doing a lot of outdoor photography. So the Joby stand is really good for setting up low and basically adjusting on the fly. So I really like that Joby stand. So now let's get into the camera. I'm rocking the Nikon D5100. It's an entry level camera. Um, it was about $500 retail. So nothing too, too crazy. It's really, really good for photos and uh, not so good for video, but awesome for photos. Um, that's why I wanted to do my setup first because I've actually got myself a new camera. So episode two will feature my new camera and my new gear. But this is basically what I've been using up until now. And the lens I'm rocking is a Nikon Nikkor 35mm 1.8 f-stop. If you don't know what that means, um, Google basically uh, DSLR or sorry, photography settings. But the 1.8 f-stop basically means it gives you that really blown out background. I'll put a little photo here just so you understand what I mean. And then so obviously 1.8, the higher you go, so um, just so that you understand that an iPhone usually shoots at about uh, an f-stop of about 12. That's usually what your eyes see at about 12 to 14. So everything's usually in moderate focus. Um, but the 1.8 brings that uh, background really blown out. And uh, that's what I like to use sometimes. But I also use manual settings most of the time. And uh, I also um, adjust ISO, shutter speed, and everything on the fly as, um, you know, as we uh, most of us probably do. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, the current number two world champion of ACBA at this point in time. So number two in the world at doing this type of art form. Let's check out Kid Grayscale's gear. So he is rocking a lamp, pretty well the same as me. Basically, he's saying it's from a hardware store. He has the flight stands that he has got from the ACBA page. Link in the description. Also, he looks like he's using some cutouts that he likes to get from some comic books. And he has the ACBA cutout pack there as well. He has a cool little brush that you get from Kmart, basically just to make sure those figures are, are nice and clean with no dust on them. He has three colored lights there that you get from a hardware or eBay, basically. And he also has a nice curved light 
that he can kind of shape to the shape that he wants and get the light exactly where he wants. So that is a really cool accessory. So then let's flip over to the camera. He has got the Canon 750D, a nice camera indeed. It's a 24 megapixel camera, DSLR, and he is also rocking the Tamron lens, which is a 60 millimeter f-stop micro lens, sorry, macro lens. So basically he's able to get that f-stop all the way down to two um, and gives you that really blown out background as well. Uh, he also mentions that he likes to adjust uh, all his photos as per the scene, all in manual. So a lot of the guys are, that are doing the ACBA and just general figure photography are all stepping up the game into that manual mode. So big shout out to Kid Grayscale. I'm going to put his link in the description. Definitely hit up his Instagram, number two in the world for this type of art form at this point in time. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to make, make sure you see the next episode, which is going to be awesome. We're going to try and feature some really good artists from around the world and see what type of gear they're using to get these figures looking so good and to just work their magic. So remember, in the description, there's going to be some links on how you submit your photos to enter and uh, hopefully we will see your gear on another episode. So as always, guys, that's 80s Jedi, and I'll see you again soon.